That's a good question. So the question is how, you know, there's, a, there's some, some us against them going on in the film, and how do I frame that? Well, you know, the, the, my, my sort of understanding um, and the way I'm, where I'm coming from is this place of love in action. Fierce Light, the previous film, was really about Gandhian re uh, revolutionary techniques, and so there was, there was, there is this oppositional aspect to it, and that's reflected in our movements ourselves. So there is, you know, we are pushing up against something. We're trying to create this change. The question is, can we do it with love? Because we're in, we're in the face. I mean, let, we're not naive. I'm not naive, even though I'm, I'm sometimes accused of being naive <laughs> for believing in love. The reality is. The world is a seriously messed up place, and it's and it, it actually needs a kind of fierce love. So that's the love that's in the film, and I, and uh, um, and and so that's I guess that's what I'm just seeing. I'm, I'm I'm reflecting, and my films always reflect what I see. But I look for the possibility amidst all of that, and I love I love the contrast as well. But there is a lot of like we are the hundred percent stuff too, which in some circles could get me in trouble, maybe you know, amongst you know my friends even. So, you know, there is a lot of that woven throughout the world, too. But I, 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 see it as, I see it as all part of the story. It's a good question. So the question is, how can we connect this, the, uh, the people who are building solutions to the new economy now? And, um, and she was pointing out that she was part of that group that made the, 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 the bicycle generators that occupy sustainable, right? Occupy sustainability, and uh, and they're continuing on, like so many working groups, to, to build new solutions, to build new alternatives. And how can we, how can we connect together those dots? Yeah, there's. I mean, that's a really good. That's a really. It's it's what's next, and I think that we're seeing more and more. There's this energy going into creating those new those new um, paradigms, and connecting together and expanding them is going to be absolutely key. It's like when I was at, we were at a community screening in uh, Santa Fe a couple of weeks ago, and someone from Occupy Santa Fe was saying the same thing, that that's where their energy is right now. It's like creating this parallel world. And how do we, how do we go about sustaining that? It's like, it's, I think there's these three things that need to happen really clearly right now, is we need to create this, these alternatives and make them real and make them functional and show that they can work and live them in our communities. We also need to do what are called holding actions, like we need to stop the Keystone XL pipeline. There are these urgent things that have to be done, so that has to happen at the same time. And we also need this shift in, in consciousness, a shift in parad a paradigm shift. Um, and that all those three things together, I think, are really key and need to happen more and more. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I, there's, a, there's mixed feelings about what I'm about to say, particularly within the Occupy movement. But personally, I also, when it, a lot of times when we have these discussions, we're so disillusioned with the political process that politics doesn't even come up. And I think it's about time that we occupy our political parties. And what that means is that we can actually go in and we can run in the Democratic and the Republican and the Green Party, whatever primaries where there, there are, we can run in the primaries and force the people who are running to office, even if we don't, it doesn't matter whether we win or not, what we do is we force the discourse in those institutions to change. And then once you lose the primary, then see if you can't run in the general again and, and, and force them to continue talking about it. And you can choose, I, I personally ran for Congress in the last election and my issue was climate and the connections of climate to everything else. Like, you know, uh, no fossil fuel, no money for war, that means we have money for education. You, we can force the discourse to change, but we, even though we're disillusioned with the political process, we can't move away from it.